cameras between them both. Now on the back, like I stated, triple camera setup here, dual camera setup on the iPhone XS Max with that LiDAR sensor on the 12 Pro. Now all of these camera sensors are 12 megapixel sensors on each. The iPhone 12 Pro has that additional ultra wide sensor. The iPhone XS Max has that telephoto lens. Is it a big deal to you? You're gonna have to ask yourself that question to me. I like having that ultra wide sensor to be honest. Now looking on the UIs of both, you can see that, you know, we have pretty much the same exact thing going on in both. So it's not like you're going to have way more features on one camera over the other one, in my opinion. You have 4K at 60 capability on both phones. I feel like the biggest difference will come in terms of the front camera. The iPhone 12 Pro has a 12 megapixel sensor that you can do 4K at 60 on the front camera. The iPhone XS Max, however, has a 7 megapixel sensor. You can only do 1080p at 60. Is that a big deal to you? You're going to have to ask yourself, but to me, I like having a better front camera than even a better back camera in my opinion. Now with the iPhone XS Max, this camera has been really good. I mean, I've been telling you guys over and over again, the quality of these older iPhones, even this one's not that old, but even something like a 6S or a 7, those camera qualities are extremely good and their features, you know, aren't really the best, but at least they're consistent. I guess that's like the only good thing about it is that, you know, a lot of features that we have on the XS Max, the 12 Pro, you can even still have them on like a phone, like a 7 Plus, for example. Now you do have 4K at 60 on the back, like I stated too. So whatever you're going to do on this camera, it's going to be perfectly fine. And you're not necessarily going to feel like you have a super old device unless you want to get that ultra wide sensor, which may be, you know, the biggest downside of this camera besides that front camera on this. Now the 12 Pro, like I stated, you know, has that ultra wide sensor, which is really cool. I like having that ability of kind of shooting those type of photos or videos in the ultra wide mode. And there's a lot of, you know, reasoning why that's the case. You also have that LiDAR sensor here too. And day to day, you're going to feel like you have, I guess, an overall better camera set up on this thing, especially on that front camera. If you're somebody who's vlogging or you just like to take photos or videos, you're making Snapchats or TikToks or whatever, I feel like you're going to have a higher quality camera on the iPhone 12 Pro in terms of the front camera than the type than the XS Max. So keep that in mind, but definitely when it comes down to the camera department, the iPhone 12 Pro 100% wins in my opinion. Now in terms of...